Louis, so we're standing in this room. This is the exhibition before the auction on Monday evening in front of this great uh, Monet uh, Houses of Parliament. Uh, but the context of we're also, I don't know, 10 feet away from a great Rothko, a Calder, Fontana, Giacometti. There's a lot going on in this, in this room. Yeah, so the whole idea of the sale is to, to, you know, to put those works in relationship. Mm -hmm. And you, the same way that you have the Giacometti in front of the Rothko, this is actually, this is actually how art almost should be shown. There is always this, artists are in constant dialogue with their mm -hmm. competitors' friends, but they're also always in dialogue with what happened. You can, it's very, you know, context gives meaning. And again, that's the joy of being collectors by shifting things around. To make a certain choice, you add meaning, you add context, and this is, this is I think, the main reason why people collect. You can see how the Roscoe reacts with the Monet. Monet is extremely, you know, atmospheric. This is an incredible uh, house of Parliament. It's the earliest uh, work we have in the auction from 1901. And, yeah, it's um, very abstract. It's very, it's very yeah. abstract. Yeah. He was very, mm -hmm. he was definitely flirting with abstraction. He was very interesting how colors interacted to each other and activated each other. And this is exactly what you have with, with Roscoe, who in a way simplified it, but definitely had Monet in mind and created those atmospheric mm. uh, relation and interconnection. And, and this <clears throat> painting by Monet is estimated at... 35 to 45 million dollars. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this painting, this Picasso painting, in terms of a little bit about it and also it's sort of the, the centerpiece of your sale that you've organized mm -hmm. called Looking Forward to the Past. Yeah, this painting is really a symbol of the sale and uh, the second we, we knew we could maybe get it, we said, okay, if we have it, we'll do the, the, this auction. And in fact, with this painting, it's very symbolic of what we've been, been trying to achieve. It is Picasso uh, painting Les, Les Femmes d'Alger, this 1955 picture, which is a painting of him confronting, look at a master, de la Croix. It is very interesting because not only he looks back at de la Croix, uses it, leverages the past to, to go further, but he's also, this painting was also an homage to Matisse, and this picture is not only a dialogue with the past, but it's a dialogue with the present, and it's also a dialogue with the future, because he knew this picture would have a huge impact, as it did actually later. This dialogue that you have pretty much compressed in this work is what we've been trying to, to achieve here, and all artists are pretty much looking at each other and in dialogue. The expectations on this, you're putting the estimate roughly in what at around $140 million. So this is a very rare Giacometti. I mean, I've apparently the, the surface is painted, the bronze is painted, which makes it special. Can you tell us a little bit about this work? And yeah, so what, it's a very, very special work. It's perhaps his most famous work, most uh, highly regarded. There's only six of them. All of them, except from this one, are in museums. And this one has a particularity, particularity that it's painted, it's hand-painted by the artist. Mm -hmm. He's done that on smaller works uh, on a few occasions, but this one is the largest one he, mm -hmm. he's done. It, it has this whole in, incredible patina, it's incredible attention to details, and the whole sculpture is like, oh, it's, a, it's a paint, it's a sculpture, but you look at it as almost as a painting. Mm. Um, and it is all about existentialism. You have to understand this is an artist who just came out, you know, of the war years. People were, were just coming to terms, coming to mm. terms with what happened, mm. what humanity did to itself, pretty much. And there was this whole period of where people had a complete rejection of their own species. They were this existential crisis. What are we doing? Where are we going? Does it make any sense to be an artist? Does it make any sense to create? And you have this with this, with this almost self-portrait of a, 
of, a, of an artist, of, you know, of a, a person who is almost like you know, reminiscent of a refugee who lost everything and doesn't know where he's going. It's the grail of, of, mm -hmm. of sculpture this is, since I'm in this business. And you've um, put an estimate on this as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's up there again, um, $130 million. It's the highest estimate ever put on a, on a sculpture. But again, it's the best sculpture ever to come on the, mm -hmm. on the market.